the Ahmadiyya community contribute hugely to interfaith forums, to the richness of our community, and that is the same that's reflected across our nation. But what I would like to pay tribute to you as well this evening is the contribution that you make to wider society and the important charitable causes that you support, not just for your own communities, but for the wider communities. And that is to be acclaimed and that is to be applauded. You have dedicated yourselves to charitable social projects and most significantly of all, you have not distinguished between faiths, ethnicities or communities. Together, we should fight common enemies such as illiteracy, disease, hunger and poverty. The Ahmadiyya mission has put structures in place towards the fight against these common enemies in order to enhance the dignity of man. Now, what has so impressed me as I have come to understand more about uh, the Ahmadiyya faith is your remarkable commitment to interfaith dialogue, your commitment to the principle of non-compulsion in religion, and your commitment to peace and tolerance. Your interpretation of jihad has always been in stark contrast to the extremist imams that we all deplore. But there is something in the faith of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community that is striking, impressing. You teach to your followers that loyalty to your homeland is part of your faith. Ahmadi Muslims are proud of the fact that wherever they, resist, they reside in the world, they become loyal citizens of that country. And wherever Ahmadis live in the world, you are renowned for enthusiastically participating in the larger community and peacefully living, aside, living alongside people of all faiths, languages, and cultures. Yes, Britain has welcomed the headquarters of the Ahmadis in this country. But it hasn't become something that's become, as it were, a closed sect in Britain. It's become a community that has sought to reach out to all of us. And that's very important, because the best way to break down the barriers of misunderstanding and prejudice is for that contact to happen. And I thank you for that. I would thank you also that you have stressed uh, the importance of showing that Islam is the religion of peace, not the religion of hate. Uh, as it was stated on the wall in the Yalsa, love for all, hatred for none. I think that is the message that the world really needs. And I hope that for the future, you will be recognized as the face of Islam, of love, of tolerance, of brotherhood and friendship.